All right, uh, this might be obvious to some, but uh, maybe not obvious to others. I had a comment the other day and I thought, oh, that guy doesn't know the trick. Um, so uh, let me talk about this. So I have this new power supply, okay? And it's got a plus 12, let's say a plus 12 and a plus five, and a certain number of amps. Let's say three amps, three amps, three amps, okay? So um, this um, particular situation, kind of limits you, right? But let's say somebody says, um, so these are all zero, right? Zero, zero to 12, zero to 12, and zero to five, right? And you have uh, connectors on the front. You have a plus and a minus, and a plus and a minus, all right? And somebody says, hey, great, you know, I can do anything I know to, I can 12 volts. Um, so people know the trick that I can get negative 12 volts. Okay, negative 12 volts, you take um, the, uh, negative side of this one and you connect it to the positive side of this one. Okay, so you put a short a short here and then you will get a positive 12 here and you'll get negative 12 here. Okay, and this will be ground, right? Ground. So that's the way you would get um, positive plus 12 plus 12 and minus 12, okay? And they have to be floating, though. These, these terminals have to be floating. A lot of power supplies have floating terminals, right? But the guy says, oh, well, I need, uh, I need 15 volts, unfortunately. And you go, oh, okay, no problem. Um, what we can do is we can take uh, these and we can wire them differently, okay? So if these are, are the outputs, we can now take the positive and we can jump with that to the negative. Okay, we can put a jumper here. And now when we measure, make this one ground, over here we can have plus V, and we can set these all the way up to up to 12 and 12. This would be 24 volts in series. Okay, this would be series. Okay, series. So you can hook them up this way, and you can have maybe four volts here, 20 volts here. It doesn't matter what you want. So this one could do up to 24 volts, right? Um, and you can set them the same so let's say you need 20 volts, you could, you could put in 10 and 10, but you didn't have to, you could put in eight and 12. It, it doesn't matter, you, you're gonna add them together. It's a lot like, you can think of it as, as, as batteries, right? You just put in as many cells as you want and uh, you'll finally get the voltage that you want. So you just keep stacking things up. So this is, this is series. Um, but the thing that people don't uh, usually consider is the parallel case. What if I jumper these two together and I jumper these two together, okay? plus, minus, plus, minus. Now I can get out zero to 12 volts, but it doubled the amperage. I could get six amps out of here. I could get three amps from this one and three amps from this one, okay? So not all power supplies are able to do this, but a lot of bench, lab bench power supplies are able to do these things in series mode or parallel mode. Parallel, parallel mode, right? And so let's go ahead and uh, hook some of these up on my new, uh, my new uh, power supply and see if you can do that. Um, now, my power supply is a bit funny, okay? So you need to check your power supply. I have one floating connection, but these two, the plus 12 and the plus five, they're already shorted internally, okay? So these, these have a common ground. So, so you'll need to check that on your power supply, whether you have that in, in, uh, in common or not. Okay, so let's go take a look at what I've got. All right, so here's my power supply. I've got uh, a 30 volt, 30 volt, and a five volt. And these are all three amps, three amps, three amps, three amps. Now, these two have a common ground. Underneath there, you can't really read it from here, but these two grounds are common. So these two are shorted inside. So you can't do anything funny with those. But this is completely floating, okay? So we can take this one and this one, this 30 volt and this 30 volt, we can hook them up in different ways, right? So let's say the first thing we're gonna do is hook them up in series, okay? So we will put the positive output of, uh, of this one into the, uh, into the negative output of that one, okay? And then uh, we can hook up the negative here that we're gonna measure, and we can hook up the uh, positive here that we're gonna measure, okay? And let me get out a voltmeter. All right, can you see that? Voltmeters, okay, so we'll put in the voltmeter, we'll put in the common and the here and we'll put in the oops DC volts. All right, uh, let's so let's turn them all on. 
and we have uh, 12 volts on this one, we have 12 volts on this one, but our output is 24 volts if it wasn't shining on there. Okay, so 24 volts. So this is a way that you can um, uh, modify to your power supply to get higher voltages. You just put them, put them in series. So this could go up to 60 volts, right? I have 30 and 30, so I can go all up to 60 volts. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the series mode, okay? So uh, next thing to do is let's hook, but in series mode, you're limited still to the three amps, okay? So you'll get um, uh, 60 volts, but at three amps, because each one contributes. Okay, so let's do the uh, parallel mode. Um, parallel mode, we'll have to wire this a bit funny. Okay, so I need to hook a bunch of stuff up, so I'm gonna use this adapter here. I'll put this one in this one. All right, so we will take the, let's see, let's turn everything off. We will take the plus here, and we will hook it to the plus here, and we will take the uh, minus here, and we will hook it up to the minus here. All right, so, um, so now these are both in parallel, okay? That's 30 volt and this 30 volt are in parallel. And then I can come in here and I can measure, I can measure from here and here. So I've got, uh, I've got this all hooked up. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn everything on. And on the output, we get 12 volts. Okay. Cause we, they're both in parallel. We have 12 and 12. Um, but we should have higher amperage. We should be able to go above three amps because, because we have them in parallel. Okay. So let's do that. All right, so I have a dummy load here. Uh, we will turn these guys off. I'll put my, hook up my dummy load. Turn all the way down. All right, so let's turn these guys on. All right, so um, I'm outputting uh, 12 volts, uh, zero amps, and I can turn up the amperage. So now I've got 0.7 amps. Let's go up here, 2.2 amps. And um, I'm going to keep going, and I will go past three amps because that's what that other thing. So here I am at. Uh, let's put it up at four amps, okay? So here I'm drawing. I'm drawing four amps. I'm still uh, getting. This is some drop in the in the wires here. I'm still getting 12 volts out. And if you take a look over there, you can see that the current's being shared. One of the supplies is supplying 2.1 amps, and the other supply is supplying 1.8 amps, okay? And this, it, the power supply is meant to do this. It's, it's in the user manual. It says this is a fine thing to do. So if you have uh, a power supply, you know, read your manual, and it might teach you that uh, your, yours can do this as well. Yeah, so, yeah, five amps. And uh, one of the supplies is, uh, is doing... Uh, Three amps, and the other one's doing two amps. So, hey, it's great. So anyway, so don't think that your power supply is limited by what's printed on the front. You can sometimes wire it up to do different things.